Thanks for stopping by. If you have a car and it has an engine, it's probably pretty dirty inside. I'm going to show you how to use this today to clean your engine. I know what you're thinking. What do you mean my engine's dirty inside? Well, a lot of the newer engines now are what's called direct injection, meaning that the fuel is injected directly into the cylinder where the spark plug and the piston is. And it's a great system as far as efficiency, but one of the big problems is it leaves a lot of carbon deposits through the intake system because there's no fuel flowing through there flushing it all out. I'm going to be using two tools today that aren't necessary to clean your engine. First is this DXZ boroscope. This is going to allow me to take a look in the engine and get you some before and after shots so we can see if this cleaning actually does anything. And the second tool I'm going to be using is my launch scanner and this is going to allow me to control the engine and crank it over without having any help. Before I even start to use this engine cleaner, I'm going to take the spark plugs out and just take a look inside the cylinder and see how bad they really look. I'm only going to take a few spark plugs out on the driver's side because they're the easiest to get to and I'll take a look inside the cylinders. And this camera is really nice because it has an articulating head on the end of it which allows me to turn it around and you'll see that once I get it inside the cylinder. So I'm going to feed this camera down into the cylinder head and then I'll use the articulating head on it and get it so it can turn around and look back up at the top of the cylinder head so we can see what the valves and the combustion chamber look like. If you look at the top of the cylinder head you'll see that there's a lot of carbon buildup on there, deposits all around the valves and in the combustion chamber and that can cause pre-ignition or spark knock and that's where you get that rattling noise when it sounds like there's marbles in your engine. Now your computer will adjust for this and adjust the timing, but then that cuts down on the efficiency of your engine. So when you have all this carbon buildup in there, that's a bad thing. I'm really surprised at how good the cylinder walls look in this engine with 175,000 miles on it. Those scratches that you see are in an X pattern. That's the way they're supposed to look. The next thing I want to do is remove the plenum so I can get the camera down inside the intake. The reason why I want to take a look in there is because, like I said, there's no fuel going through this intake. It's just fresh air from outside and the fumes from the crankcase. So you can get a lot of oil deposits and a lot of buildup inside the intake with a direct injection engine. And you can see as I move this camera around in here, there's a lot of wet spots and a lot of oil buildup in here. And this white tube here, you can see how much oil is on it. So this engine's definitely dirty. The next thing I want to do before I do the cleaning is I want to do a compression test. And checking a compression with the launch scanner is a snap because it has all kind of functions in it. And one of them is a compression test. And when you run this compression test on the launch scanner, it cranks over the engine without sending any fuel or any spark to the engine. So it's a lot easier on the engine and you don't have to have help. You don't need somebody there turning the key for you. After I finish my pre-cleaning compression test, I got to put my spark plugs back in. Get yourself a Phillips screwdriver, or in this case I'm using a Torx screwdriver, and put a little piece of rubber hose on it. You can stick your spark plug in there and it makes it much easier to get your spark plug started. So I have everything back together and the way you use this cleaner is you need the engine RPM to be around 1,000, 1,500 RPM. So you can get somebody to sit in the driver's seat and hold the RPMs there or in my case I'm just going to use the scanner. It has another function where I can command the idle to go up. So that's what I'm going to do is bump the idle up to around 1200 and go from there. And of course you want your engine to be hot when you're doing this, you need it to be at operating temperature. And you just shake this can up and start spraying it into the throttle body or your intake. And you can see it's a little bit foamy and you don't wanna just spray this continually, you wanna do a little bit at a time so you don't cause any damage to your engine. So you just keep spraying it a little bit at a time the engine might stutter or stall, 
If it does, just restart it and continue on with the spraying until you go through the whole can. After you're done running the whole can through, you want to shut the engine off and let the car sit for about 15 minutes. And in the meantime, you can put your plenum back on and I'm reconnecting my mass airflow sensor because I was having a hard time keeping it running. So I disconnected that and that let it stay running while I was spraying the cleaner in there. After your 15 minutes are up, you want to start the engine and take the RPMs up to about 2,500, 3,000 to blow all the remaining cleaner out of there and get any loose gunk to come out of the engine. And if you did everything right, your car is going to smoke like crazy. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's all this excess cleaner in there that's now burning off that was left in the cylinders and in the intake. And it clears up pretty quickly, so don't worry about it. But you can see I got a giant smoke fog around my car now. After the smoke cleared, I took it for a drive down the road and drove it pretty hard just to make sure that I blew all the rest of everything out of it. So it's the next day and I want to check the cylinder out and do another compression test. And the first thing I noticed is how much cleaner the number one spark plug is. So here's the DXZ camera back inside the cylinder and I'm just moving it around so I can get a shot of the valves in the combustion chamber again and it definitely made a difference inside the cylinder and on the combustion chamber. And here's a freeze frame of the cylinders before and after. So you could see there's a pretty drastic difference. It definitely helped clean up those combustion chambers. And I'm going to put the camera back down the intake and see how much cleaner it is in there. And it's definitely made a difference. I mean, it's kind of tough to tell because it's black plastic and it's shiny, especially with the LED light shining on it. But I don't see as much oil residue as I did yesterday. And here's that white plastic tube that's in there. And you can see the oil buildup is pretty much gone on there. So it's definitely cleared up some of the residue in the intake. I also reran the compression test after cleaning and it didn't make much of a difference. I would say it's definitely worth getting a can of this stuff and using it to clean your engine, especially if you have a direct injection like a GM truck or a lot of other vehicles on the road nowadays. Um, you could see what a difference it made in the combustion chamber and how it cleaned up the intake. The truck is definitely idling better and it also feels like the throttle is a little bit more responsive. I really appreciate you taking the time to stop by and watch this video and hopefully you'll take some time maybe this weekend, maybe next week, to get yourself some top engine cleaner and clean your engine. It's definitely going to help your car run better. So spend a couple of bucks and an hour or so and take care of your car. Thanks for watching.